Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. So you heard Windows 11 SE is coming out. This was announced just a couple of days ago, as of October 10th and around that neighborhood. And it's expected to be available within a month or so. So what is Windows 11 SE? Well, of course, we've been waiting for a slim version of Windows since Windows 95, and it's just not going to happen. As time has gone on, especially like Windows 11, everything is so tied in together that removing a lot of the stuff breaks other things, causes a lot of problems, and you're kind of stuck with it. So we're kind of hoping Microsoft would do it, but I wouldn't hold your breath. This isn't what you were waiting for. We have a lot of apps, of course, that can slim and take stuff out. But in this case, Windows 11 SE is a slimmed down cloud first version of Windows 11. So Microsoft has slimmed it down. We assume SC stands for Student Edition. And then they say there's a Windows 11 SE Pro Education, 11 Education. And therein lies the rub. The word education. You have to be a student, uh, institution, a learning institution uh, at a high school, and then you can purchase this. The beauty of it is it runs on very affordable hardware. So instead of spending thousands of dollars on a computer, you can get this for as cheap as $189 into the 200 plus range. So average person can expect to pay in the 230 range. And as you can see, the specs are here. An Intel Celeron processor, which if it wasn't for these Chromebooks and stuff like that, you wouldn't ever hear that ever again. And your average specs will be four gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage, and 11.6 inch screen running a 1366 by 768 display. Let's take a look at Chromebook, for example, here on Amazon. And let's just grab the first one at $179. That's a great, great price. As you can see, the specs are almost the same. There's your display we just discussed. 4 gig of RAM, 64 gigs of hard drive space. So the biggest problem with the Windows 11 SE is most of you watching this can't buy it. That kind of stinks. So I don't know how you're a Chromebook competitor if you can't buy it. So a simple guess would be that using this in high schools and colleges, when you get out of college or high school and you get a job, you're probably going to use a Windows PC or possibly a Mac if you're into graphics or multimedia. So the nice thing about this is you kind of transition people and get them used to using Windows before they go out into the real world. Of course, as you all know, the problem with this is you can't do much with it. So you've got an Intel Celeron processor and four gigs of RAM. Where are you going? You're not doing multimedia. You sure aren't gaming. You know, maybe solitaire, stuff like that. So it's just a basic slim down computer that is affordable. So that's cool if they make, I'm hoping they make it available to everybody because there's no way you're competing with Chromebook without doing that. So as you can see, if you want to buy it, as mentioned, you probably can't. And if you go to buy it currently at the time of this video, you drop off this form and you wait a couple of days for somebody to get a hold of you. And again, you can get it for somewhere. I may have this written wrong. I don't remember. I thought it was a little lower than that, but 219 if you purchase a thousand of them. Individually, 240 to 330. So they're in the Chromebook price range but we'll hoping that it'll make it into the stores. It just took them so long to respond to Chromebook that we're a little surprised that everybody can't buy it because I know a lot of people who work at home might be able to use a $240 to $330 computer. Of course, that said, if you shop around, probably not now because of prices being up, you can usually get a laptop in the five, six, seven hundred dollars range. They'll do most of what you want to do. So this would still be a great answer, especially for companies who just want to do basic stuff you buy you can buy a laptop for 219 for your i don't know why they left these people out you got me so there you have it uh, on our download page and our download page our tutorial page here you can shop for chromebooks using our amazon link here which is an affiliate link and we get a little commission if you buy anything there and if you're reading this thinking i need a faster computer right down here optimizing your computer these are four basic steps to get your computer to run the way you want removing unused apps deleting junk files, disable startup apps, and defragmenting your hard drive if it's not an SSD or upgrading to an SSD, which is a huge thing. So if you're reading this thinking you weren't going to get a faster computer, you might be able to, you know, get a little more out of that old dog by following that tutorial. It's pretty basic. 
any skill level can do it. And there you have it. There's the unexciting answer to what Windows 11 SE is. We appreciate you watching as always. See ya.